Hello guys, this is Camaro. In this video, I will guide you implement the Dynamic Links configuration for Android application. Dynamic Links allow you to redirect the user from URL to your app screen. I will be using Jetpack Compose for application. If you don't know how to implement the Dynamic Links for iOS app, I will recommend you check out another video, link in the description below. As of now, Google seems decided to dupe uh, deprecate dynamic links in the Firebase. So you need to be a little bit careful about the future patching of dynamic links. So please keep that in your mind. Before we start, let me summarize what, you, what to do to achieve dynamic links for Android apps. 1. Create Android app project. 2. Create Firebase project and add your Android app. 3. Add signature SHA1, SHA256 other Firebase project from Android project. 4. Enable dynamic links and create new link at Firebase. 5. Configure Android manifest.xml to allow dyna dynamic link domain. 6. Write logic at main activity.kt. I will go through them step by step in this video. I assume if everything goes smooth, you can implement this great feature within 30 minutes. After you understand how configuration can be done, I encourage you to adapt this into your own project. So let's get started. So number one, create Android app project. First, start with an easy step. Open Android Studio and choose empty compose activity to start with. I don't recommend you to start from no activity unless you really, unless you really know what you're doing. Starting from empty com compose activity can save your time a lot. In my setup, I needed to change the Gradle JDK version from preference settings. It might be different from your environment. But anyway, if you're able to build whole world screen, we can move on to the next step. Now, here is application level Gradle dependencies for dynamic link related dependencies and navigation related dependencies. So take a look at the build build the Gradle uh, application level. Add these dependencies in your project and make sure your application can be built. So number two, create Firebase project and add your Android app. This step is rather easy if you ever created a Firebase project before. Just add a new project and follow what it says. It takes a few minutes for Firebase to get your project ready. Once it get, resi get, get ready, we should Add Android app in the Firebase project. Here you download the uh, Google services.json, the file, and copy into your Android application project root. Once you finish it, it can follow the Firebase instruction, put Firebase dependencies in project level and application level Gradle, Gradle file. After that, of course, uh, don't forget sync it in Android Studio and build it. Number three, add fingerprint, SHA1 and SHA256 at the Firebase project from Android project. So this part is telling Firebase your Android app identification to connect with. Since Android app creates fingerprint for your application, which is SHA1 and SHA256 hash values, they are needed to be set in a Firebase project side. In order to get this fingerprint for the development phase, follow what I'm doing here. Hit the Gradle page on the rightmost side of the Android Studio workspace and go tasks enjoy signing report then in the console you will see your hash values so make sure you copy them and paste it paste it in the firebase project by the way this is for the development purpose all of your project will share the same hash value for development build for production build when we register our app in the google play they assign specific hash value for you for you, your application for this configuration i will upload another video but since now prototyping is done in development mode, so I will just use uh, shared hash values. Number four, enable dynamic links and create a new link at the Firebase. In the Firebase console, go to engagement section from sidebar, then hit the dynamic links. Then you can enable dynamic link. Next, you need to define the domain for the dynamic links. 
It is possible for you to use your custom domain, but here I will use Firebase providing domain, which ends with .page or link. This domain must be unique, so set your custom string as you like. Now hit the new dynamic links to create a one for your app. In this tutorial, I will create the endpoint with slash test as a URL suffix. Next, set the deep link URL, so if the user accessing this deep link from PC, it directs you, direct the user this deep link URL. Right, uh, right here, I'm using the example domain, example.com as, uh, as here. Next, add your Android app with clicking open deep link in Android app and select your register Android app. You can here skip the iOS app configuration and hit create. You are ready to go to the next step. Number five, configure Android manifest.xml to allow the name link domain. So please go back to the Android Studio and configure Android manifest.xml. Basically, it, necessary to, it is necessary to add two things. One is tools, validation, test URL, and another intent filter section. So as you can see in the activity, in the activity section, first you need to add the tools. And here, just write the domain that you register right now. And you also need to add the intent filter to, to allow your domain here. So please follow what I wrote here and you're ready to go to the next steps. Number six, write logic at mainactivity.kt file. In mainactivity, I will simply create two screens. One is home screen, another is dynamic link screen. If application is open, it goes to the home screen first, then if user hit the dynamic link, one will be redirected to the dynamic link screen. This is what, I, what we aim at this tutorial. So I will go through the main activity.kt file. This is a little bit long, but should be easy to follow. We use navhost for screen navigation. Once the variable called it, uh, is deep link is set to true, then navigation opens up dynamic link, dynamic link screen. Here, I'm having the intent called app link intent and passing this app link action. So at the bottom of main, uh, so at the bottom of main activity class, I have a two screen with composable. One is greeting and another is dynamic link screen. And Inside of the onCreate function, I created, instantiated the app, app link intent as an intent and also app link action as a string. Also, here I set the get dynamic links function which takes the intent. Once get the intent, Firebase dynamic link dot get instance is called and there is a callback. If the callback is successful and dynamic, dynamic link data is not null, then I set the is deep link flag as true and just make a toast. Once this is deep link uh, boolean gets true, then uh, this uh, launch effect will be called and nav controller will direct you to dynamic link screen. So this is it. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. I will see you in the next tutorial. Happy prototyping. Bye bye.